Hi, and welcome to the Cancelled News. Uh, the Republican National Convention was held this week, culminating with President Trump's dramatic acceptance speech, which was preceded by this inspiring and beautiful video. A country where we are judged by our character with dignity and respect for all. I'm doing my part. Limited only by our imaginations. I'm doing my part. And when we see injustice to one, we act to fix it for all. I'm doing my part, too. <laughs> Four years ago, we faced an historic crossroad. Klandathu, source of the bug meteor attacks, orbits a twin star system whose brutal gravitational forces produce an unlimited supply of bug meteorites. We chose a different path. A man who is not a politician. This time, we're ready. Planetary defenses are better than ever. The results? Jobs were created, embracing the undeniable greatness of diversity. Prosperity, safe communities, protecting and serving. To ensure the safety of our solar system, Klandathu must be eliminated. It's an ugly planet, a fun planet, a planet hostile to life. Speakers at the RNC included Nikki Haley, Senator Tim Scott, the MyPillow guy, and the McCloskeys. The McCloskeys, of course, are that couple that loves guns, but hold their guns like they hate guns. Not since Clint Eastwood has an RNC speaker been so dedicated to getting people off their lawn. During her RNC speech, Nikki Haley talked about the American dream, while the MyPillow guy talked about the Giza dream sheets. In his inspiring RNC speech, Senator Tim Scott spoke emotionally about how his family went from cotton to Congress in one lifetime. Joe Biden retorted that he's gone from hunting mammoths to doing Zoom interviews in one lifetime. Now, Democrats were very critical of every black person who spoke out in support of Trump. Democrat Representative Steve Cohen even liked a tweet saying that Tim Scott might as well be white. Now, to be fair, Tim Scott did once refer to Herman Cain as my black friend. But don't worry, Steve Cohen, every other Tim Scott is white. Kimberly Goldfoyle was mocked for her speech during the RNC, in which she yelled enthusiastically to an empty hall. Now, I thought she did great. It's hard to keep up that kind of energy without an audience. Just look at the WNBA. But people have been making a lot of jokes and memes about Kimberly Goldfoyle, so at least she wound up getting more laughs than Julie Louis Dreyfus did at the DNC. A woman who was supposed to speak at the RNC on Tuesday was dropped from the lineup after she tweeted anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. Instead, she spoke at the RNC on Wednesday. See, I go after both sides. First Lady Melania Trump unveiled a renovated White House Rose Garden this week. Look at that. So much more beautiful than the one we had when Obama was there. And the garden looks a little better, too. Jerry Falwell Jr. resigned as president of the private Christian school Liberty University after it was revealed that he liked to watch his wife have sex with the pool boy. In fact, he was always telling the pool boy to turn the other cheek. Ghislaine Maxwell requested to be transferred to the general prison population, but her request was denied. Then she asked again because apparently she doesn't understand that no means no. Two female penguins at a zoo in Spain have adopted an egg and are raising it together as their own. Ugh, that'll never be normal to me. They're both dressed as the groom. Oh well, at least they're not watching each other have sex with the pool boy. Sean Connery turned 90 this week. He says he's feeling healthy and he hopes to make it to 97. Facebook is developing AI technology that they hope will help you remember everything. During the one year we all want to forget. Now they'll be able to beam pictures of your ex from six years ago directly into your brain. Soccer superstar Lionel Messi has asked to be released from... This is America. I'm not doing a soccer story. Smoke from the massive wildfires in California is contaminating the air as far away as Denver. Which is weird because the cloud of smoke over Denver usually comes from Boulder. There are again rumors that North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un is in a coma near death and his sister will take over. So if you think your 2020 is going bad, Kim Jong-un is going to die twice this year. If I can't imagine what that would be like, to have a leader that disappears for weeks at a time and there's always rumors that he's near death, not a situation I'd want to be in.
McDonald's added spicy nuggets to its menu this week, its first new flavor of chicken nuggets in 40 years. So be sure to go in and try a 10-piece of that thing Wendy's has had for years. The CDC issued new guidelines for retail and service industry employees, advising them not to argue with customers who refuse to wear masks. So the mask guidance went from don't wear masks to you should wear masks to you have to wear masks to wear a mask unless you don't want to. Paul Thomas Anderson has begun shooting a new film starring Bradley Cooper despite the coronavirus lockdown. The new film will be called A Star is Dead. The first cruise ships have set sail again since the pandemic began, and hopefully by 2022, some country somewhere will let them dock again. A Wisconsin mother of seven was sentenced to prison for supporting ISIS. So when she dies and goes to ISIS heaven, some terrorist expecting 72 virgins is going to get a Wisconsin mother of seven. Billy Graham's granddaughter said that evangelical leaders are failing by supporting Donald Trump. I would argue they're failing by watching their wife have sex with the pool boy. <laughs>